welcome back to East Texas Now. I know I'm not Jeremy G. Butler. I do apologize. It's me, Michaela Goose, your normal weekend host. But I decided to hop on because we have some pretty important guests with us, with us today. Uh, Chief Chad Taylor and Chief Todd Hunter from Kilgore and Henderson. Now, we are here to talk about a pretty important event that you guys are having. It's an annual event. Can you tell us a little bit more about um, this event and what it means to you guys? Well, shortly, we'll, in April, we'll be having our Texas Police Chiefs yep. Conference, which will be in Fort Worth. Okay. Uh, what we're here today supporting is our foundation and our death benefits. And um, we raise money annually throughout the state to support those death benefits. And unfortunately, last year, uh, we wrote uh, $190,000 worth of checks to officers who had fallen in the line of duty in Texas. Now, that's for any any officer, not just municipal officers, but deputies, constables, even federal officers that might fall in the line of duty within uh, Texas. So we're raising money for that, and Chad and I just thought, well, others have done it around the state with rodeos and yeah. uh, uh, bicycling events and, and uh, running events and other things. And in East Texas, we have Skeeter Boat, and we thought, well, what if we uh, work with Skeeter and get to, to raffle off a boat? So we've worked with Skeeter and designed a boat. And that's exactly was my next question. You guys are raffling off an entire boat. I mean, is this something, do you guys raffle off a boat every single year? Is it something different no, every we, year? We've never raffled off a boat. Okay. We do have raffles and they've typically been internal, okay. uh, but we really needed to, as our need uh, has risen, we really needed to look for other revenues. So. Uh, I just happened to think, you know, Kilgore's got Skeeter, and I, I worked with, with Chad, and we thought it would be a good idea, and Skeeter was on board with it, so we designed a boat, and we'll wrap that out, and uh, it will be our first time to do this, and we'll see how it ends up, and then if this is something that worked out well uh, for the association, we'll continue. Uh, again, we're doing this on behalf of the foundation, and with the foundation, we like to put a $10,000 check in the hands of a family member within 24 hours of a death. There are immediate needs that a family has. Uh, they have bills that are coming in. They may need to fly someone in for a funeral. They may need to buy a suit. They have other expenditures that, that are there. They may need to make a house payment. And some people say, well, but there's city benefits. They, they should have city health insurance and their state and federal benefits. Those can take months to ever come to fruition. So we want to to take care of their immediate needs so that they don't have to think about that in that time of tragedy. And you said that they also have city benefits. So is this raffle uh, benefiting separately from what families of fallen um, officers and policemen can do? Is this separate from the, those benefits? There's several organizations. Okay. That it's just a, one of the organizations. Uh, East Texas 100 Club is another organization. They both try to do that within 24 hours as well. I mean, local areas have their own associations, but this is something that the Texas Police Chiefs you know, are involved in. It's something that we can do immediately for the family, and it's uh, an important benefit. And I'm assuming, have you guys seen the impact of this amazing organization and foundation firsthand? What is the impact on these families? How much does it mean to them? Well, I've, uh, I started as a director probably back in, uh, we have regional directors throughout the, the state of Texas for the Texas Police Chiefs Foundation. And the regional directors are the ones that actually deliver the check to the family. And I have personally delivered three of those checks. So uh, I know the impact uh, because they will tell you at that moment, they will tell you later on. They're, they're just at a loss at that time. And they do have needs that are immediate. And unfortunately, uh, many of our officers are living paycheck to paycheck. And when these things happen, uh, they can't wait on those other benefits that might be coming from the, from the state, from the federal government, or even from the city. Um, and they may have their own life insurance policy, but that's not going to be immediate. This check is placed within their hand within 24 hours of that debt. So. And it's something that is extremely important, just as you pointed out, because some of these officers living paycheck to paycheck, they don't have the savings to be able to afford the expenses on behalf of their fallen uh, officer. So is there anything else you guys would like to tell our viewers about this amazing foundation? How can they get tickets to this raffle? So we have a website called Better World okay. that we're working through and they're going to handle the raffle. Okay. Uh, it's all online. Uh, they, tickets can be purchased from there. Okay. Uh, donations can be made there as well. And uh, the tickets are $100. There's only 1,500 tickets being sold. So the, the opportunity to win the boat is a whole lot better than a lot of the raffles that you see. 
Uh, it is a FX uh, FXR21 Skeeter boat, fast boat. It's decked out. It's ready to go, ready to hit the water. It's a top of the line boat, and they put out a good product, so we we hope it hope it goes well. And you said you designed this boat yourselves. Is there any little things that people can look forward to seeing on this boat once they purchase? Mainly going to be the coloring. Um, we did work to make sure that that we were putting the right things in the boat that these anglers are wanting in their boats. Uh, so this was the hot boat that, that Skeeter had. It does say on our flyer a 2022, but it is a 2023. It just got completed this last week. It's lake ready, uh, and uh, its value is over $100,000. And uh, so any, even if you're not an angler, go ahead and support this foundation. 100% of the benefits, uh, other than the fee for Better World, 100% of those proceeds are going to the officer's uh, benefit fund. We don't use any of it for administrative fees or anything else. Uh, the foundation doesn't do any solicitation. So, you know, police chiefs around the state just do these fundraisings uh, on their own and then just benefit this back. So on April 6th, we'll be drawing the lucky uh, ticket holder. So, and it's actually on an email because it's not a paper ticket. Uh, we will announce that uh, through the Texas Police Chiefs uh, website and also through our Facebook and go from there. Alrighty, that is absolutely amazing. And we're going to have all this information as well as this interview and uh, all of the flyers and the QR codes and the website up on our website, KLTV and KTRE.com. Make sure you click the link. Is there anything else you guys would like our viewers to know before I let you guys go? No, we just appreciate the opportunity to come before you and your viewers. And we just ask that you think of those families. And unfortunately, last year we had 19 families that we served. This year we already have served several families. And uh, we just never know the need, yeah. so we need to replenish those funds. Alrighty, and you can help uh, replenish those funds at the link at KLTV and KTRE. Thank you guys so much. We're going to go to a short commercial break, and we'll be right back with more from East Texas now.